Mike Gill at the pizza oven here at Chow. Now, is this an actual wood-fired pizza oven, Mike? Oh yeah, oak burning wood oven. We use oak and oak chips, oak logs and oak, oak chips. And how hot does it get in there? It's about 800 degrees. Wow. How long does it take to cook pizza? About 90 seconds. Seriously? Yeah. 90 seconds? Yeah. Why does it take a half an hour when I go into pizza? <laughs> It's that, it's that thick Chicago style. That's why we're trying to keep it quick. How come people can't make good pizzas at home? Well, I mean, you can't you can't do what we're doing here because of the heat. Right. You can't heat, you can't hit 800 degrees in your oven. People have tried to. You can clean uh, cook on your cleaning cycle. I think you can get like 600 degrees there, pretty close. That's the fresh mozzarella, uh -huh. fresh basil before. Right. Hit it with a little olive oil so it doesn't burn. Okay. Uh, a little pepperino and uh, can crush tomato. That's it. In here. Check it again, make sure we're not stuck. Literally 90 seconds is all it takes. Yeah, we're gonna drop it on the sweet spot right there. Check the bottom, see our bottom's nice. Give it a spin. Drop it back down. Yeah, a couple more seconds, and we're gonna finish it up top where it's about 1,000 degrees with that heat, and that's it. It's done. Wow. All right, so that's the margarita pizza. You guys are also uh, famous for actual pastas and antipastas and things like that. Antipasti, yeah. All right. All right, you know what? I'm going to go outside. I'm going to sit down, and let's take a look at what you guys got. Mike did a great lineup of delicious-looking food. Let's start with the appetizers and work our way towards those wood-fired pizzas. Absolutely. What's this first plate right here? Today we're starting with a, uh, a three-cheese plate. Mm. So it's a nice flight. We have our toasted baguette mm -hmm. next to it. The Pecorino Toscano. Oh, it's a nice stuff. salty pecorino uh -huh. layered with a little local honey. Great way to start off a meal, great way in the Italian tradition to finish a meal as well. You're right. Absolutely. What are you pairing with it? Today we paired it with a Falangina, classic southern Italian grape. Clean your palate very nicely, let you taste your next, your next bite. My palate has never been cleaner. <laughs> you can eat off my palate right now, it's that clean. <laughs> That's delicious. Okay, now, that, now we're getting into the meats, right? Yes, sir. Okay, what do we have here? This okay. is gorgeous. Today we did a, a fig whole grain mustard. This is the spec. This is our um, soppressata calabrese and a prosciutto di parma. Wow. Moving right along into our heirloom caprese. Now, a lot of, a lot of Italian places have caprese. This looks very different. Look at the marbling. Is that the right word for the tomatoes? It's buffalo mozzarella, so it comes from a water buffalo. Yes, I've been to those farms. Oh, yes. They're all over Vermont. The, oh, that's good the, with the, um, the olive oil. really makes it pop. Absolutely. And that basil is great. Mm -hmm. Where do you get good basil in Chicago in the middle of the winter? Good basil Chicago in the winter. Columbia. Columbia. <laughs> Columbia. Big thing with Italian people. Seafood, because Italy is surrounded by water. Absolutely. This is one of my favorites. This is uh, is this octopus? Octopus, yes. Charred oh. baby octopus, we call this. That's octopus. And what are, we've got some fingerling tomatoes in there? Paired it with fingerling potatoes, Italian parsley, and then uh, some of the classic Calabrian chilies mm. are, are sprinkled on there to finish. That's delicious. Absolutely. These are different than the uh, margarita. What do we have here? Today we have our Pugliese, named after uh, after the region, the region where Italy. it comes from. Puglia. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A um, little rapini, classic Italian broccoli, our homemade sausage, some flakes of uh, Calabri uh, Calabrian chili, uh -huh. and your burrata cheese. And this is the this is the um, this is the broccoli that comes out of broccoli rabe. Exactly. That same kind of bitter escarole kind of uh, broccoli. Exactly. Some more greens to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these ones? And this is the prosciutto e rucola. Mm -hmm. uh, a nice layer of rosto sauce, a uh, little prosciutto, and then a layer of arugula and grano padano to finish. Wow. Everything is delicious, fresh, very old school, very peasant Italian. Uh, if you're anywhere near Logan Square, this is a great place to eat. In 25 words or less, why should people come here to Chow Pizzeria? People should come to Chow because... Oh, man. That's five. <laughs> People should come to Chow because that's actually six, my bad. <laughs> People yep. should come to Chow because our, our ingredients are coming from local, sustainable um, farms. We're pairing wines and beers and cocktails that are relevant and interesting and will help bring out flavors. And a good experience and a good vibe that you can have fun with your friends at. That was more than 25 words, but I don't care. It's very I'm well a little equation. Kelly, thank you so much.